thanks for making the time to come and see me. As you know, there are a couple of things I think we need to discuss about your progress in the course. Yes, I know. I'm glad you could make the time. Not a problem. It's really part of my job to make sure everyone enrolled in the course is getting as much out of it as they can. If we just look at this spreadsheet which outlines your assessment results so far, you can see that while your grades were initially fine, certainly in the average for the year group as a whole, towards the end of semester one, they've started to drop off a bit. Yeah, uh, yes, I see. I must admit that I had to take a fortnight off just after mid-semester break and I, and I really felt that the work I missed in those two lab sessions have made it really hard for me to understand some of the underlying material required for the rest of the course. Well, thanks for being so honest, Angelina. I think we're going to have to put some... Think about putting some strategies in place so that by the end of year assessments, you're going to have a fair chance of passing. Well, yeah, thanks, Professor Smith. I couldn't agree more, but I must admit I'm at the point where I don't really know where to start to get on top of this. Thanks for making the time to come and see me. As I was saying, Professor Mitchell... Oh, please call me Lisa. Yes, well, Lisa... Well, I'm still trying to get my head around the choice of electives for the optional part of the third year program. I was thinking of taking personal taxation law and company tax, together with the extra five credit point course on goods and services and VAT type taxes, but I'm a bit concerned that I'm going to pigeonhole myself too early in the course. Yeah, hmm... As you know, there are going to be interviews for summer clerkships coming up, and I really don't want to come across as too focused on certain areas that a lot of firms don't even do, you know? Have a practice in. Well, don't forget, um, only about 25% of the course at this stage is elective-based, and you'll still have that core of subjects, crim, legal institutions, evidence, property law, general commercial and fed con law, all of which would be of interest to a lot of firms. So if I were you, which I'm not, <laughs> I'd really just go with what my interests are and enjoy the chance to undertake some work in an area that I'm motivated to pursue, don't you think? There's an awful lot of time in this profession where you'll be undertaking long, stressful hours on projects that don't really interest you as much. As I was saying, One of the problems with primary teaching is that you are expected to be a jack of all trades. As you are aware, this is quite unrealistic. Very few people are equally good at music and English and science and art and maths and PE. Increasingly, specialist teachers are being employed in primary schools. The argument against moving completely in this direction is the pastoral needs of younger students. The relationship a student develops with a single teacher can be valuable. The routine of moving from room to room, or indeed of teaching style, can be problematic for younger students. The ideal situation is a school where teachers' special interests and passions can be complemented by the skills of their colleagues. Partial use of special teachers can be beneficial. As a teacher, if you love teaching maths, then teach it. If art is your thing, go for it. Children will be motivated by teachers who are passionate about what they are doing. This doesn't negate the need for primary teachers to be solid in a range of areas, but it does try to acknowledge the simple fact that no one is good at everything. One of the pro Get to know the organization sponsoring each scholarship, what it does, what its goals and mission are, the essay, which you will need to submit, should then be tailored. Tailor your essay to touch on those themes and describe what role they play in your life. For example, if you're applying for a scholarship from a nonprofit organization that supports literacy, talk about why literacy is important, what you've done and will continue to do to promote it. Every organization has an agenda, 
Find out what it is and target your essay appropriately. Remember, the worst thing you can do is simply submit a standardized essay. This will indicate that you're merely fishing for what might be available and not really committed to the goals and values of the organization. Some examiners will not take kindly to having their time taken up with submissions from potential candidates who are not really committed. Get to know the organization's sponsor.